find a Brickenden farm. <laughs> That's a long drop. My grandfather was a blacksmith. Hey guys, so Saturday morning, um, and we're heading off to Just Cats with some old drawers. They've requested old drawers to mount on the wall in their new cat adoption area um, and I've seen a picture of what they want to do they want to put them sort of mount them on the wall and they kind of make them into like a bed but then the cats can be up high and cats like being up high so we're going to drive out to Longford but our first stop is one of my most favorite places in Riverside other than our house is Flick the Bean where I get coffee and I'm getting everyone else a hot chocolate because I'm the only coffee drinker at the moment <laughs> Believe it or not, that gorgeous little blue shipping container has coffee in it. Good stuff. Fun fact, this is where we adopted our little Daisy from. They've done some renovations though, haven't they, Chloe? <laughs> yeah, you could have worn your just cat hat, couldn't you, Harry? Oh, <laughs> Daisy was their size for a few days. Oh, I think Daisy was bigger than them even when we got Daisy, her. Daisy, even when she was little, was big because there was only two of them, so they kind of didn't have to fight much for my <laughs> attention. <laughs> and who's that? That's that's um Gavin. Hi, sweetie. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the cat I've been caught. They've said on Facebook, you just need to check that she doesn't end up in your car. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. You're so beautiful. With that job done, we were off to Longford for lunch. Longford is a historic town with many buildings constructed by convicts in the early 1800s. The town has a long agricultural tradition. Woolmers and Brickenden estates are both nearby. Whenever we ran Longford Way, we always like to come here to JJ's Bakery. They've got really nice wood-fired pizzas. So what's your favourite thing about weekends, Chloe? Um, no school. What's my favourite thing about weekends? No well, work. my favourite, if, if I don't have to work, I don't have to work. I'm not working for three days. The most important part of this place, oh, the wine bar. Me and Harry both got iced chocolates and they come in these with um, the four cups. I don't want to put my face into it. Honey mustard. Satay. Me and Harry have margarita <laughs> just, pizzas. Just so Harry, on the table. Just Harry <laughs> do you have margarita pizza? Yeah, and there's so much lettuce. Just want to give a little shout out to Tony and Tanya who reached out to us and uh, said they really enjoy the vlog and love watching episodes. And they went on a carnival cruise uh, on the legend themselves and they just sent me some uh, awesome photos of their time. So, hey, hi guys. Thanks for uh, reaching out and thanks for sharing the photos. Awesome. That was blooming awesome. Going to Brickenden Farm. Ah. You have arrived.
Brickenden is a farm built in the 1800s by convicts working for the Archer family, and it's closely related to Woolmers, which is an estate here that was actually owned by the Archers. So let's go inside and see what more we can learn about it. Oh, ducks. Is it safe to and there's bunny it? rabbit over there. Terry. The pillar granary is the only example of this type of building in the southern hemisphere. Built Sura 1830. This is a rectangular two-story riverboard brick nogged building elevated on sandstone cape piers known as stable stones. That's all I want to read. So I don't want you to get bored and... So this granary was built on pillars to keep the vermin out so they didn't get into the grain. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, look at this. They're so docile, look at them. There's bunny road over there too. Hi. This is William Archer's cottage. Wow, is that an old toilet or is that a bath? It's a bath. I know from many years of playing Civilization just how important it is to have a granary to put your grain in, help your city grow. This one's the brick granary, so they actually had two. The most important place of all, the dunny. It says our house. What will is that? <laughs> That's a long drop. You sit on it <laughs> and you drop. <laughs> <laughs> to be the overseer's quarters but it's not there anymore. Going into the blacksmith shop. My grandfather was a blacksmith. He worked on the railway. Got a special dispensation to uh, not go and fight in World War II because blacksmithing was considered an essential service. This is where the barracks for the convicts would have been. It's not here anymore though. This is really interesting. Some of the convicts uh, who did a good job were promoted to masters and overseers over the other convicts. And this was kind of seen as a, a way of rewarding them. But it may not have been such a great reward because they were housed separately and they were seen as kind of this exclusive group and so their former mates they used to work with really resented their authority. Poor old Peter Fitzsimmons, he got a life sentence for stealing a pair of trousers. Your ticket to Brickenden also includes a walk around the gardens outside the estate house. Somebody actually still lives in here, so you can't go inside. Look how tall those trees are. Oh my gosh. I can't even see the top of it. Oh, there it is.
Wow! Well, that was a lot of fun. I really like learning about the history of the local area. So we recently crossed over the 100 subscribers mark, which we're really excited about, and that's all thanks to all of you. So obviously the next goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers. There's uh, some benefits to us if we do manage to hit 1,000 subscribers. If you're watching and you haven't subscribed, uh, I would really encourage you to click that subscribe button. Uh, it would definitely help us out a lot.